Uh, we're pretty excited about Trigstar here in Maryland. It's been selected as our pilot outreach program for community. We test high schools throughout Southern Maryland and across the state. I think that we're reaching somewhere around two to 3,000 students a year. And the really exciting thing about Trigstar is the opportunity it provides to the professional surveyor, wherever he's located across the country, to reach out to young men and women who are trying to make decisions as they reach their junior and senior year in high school, what do they want to be when they grow up? And the message we want to send them is that land surveying is an exciting, dynamic profession that gives them access to some of the best hardware and software in the world to work on some of the most challenging problems that uh, land surveyors have ever faced in the history of our country. Uh, land surveyors are no longer just the guys on the side of the road with the transit trying to put in a property corner or stake the edge of a curb. Land surveyors are involved in imaging, GIS, LIS. Uh, land surveyors are involved in really intense, uh, dynamic programs that use the highest levels of education. Trigstar is the first step in, uh, in our ability to reach out to young people so they understand what the profession is about, so they understand that the next level for us is for them to get a degree in land surveying from a recognized four-year college and go on to get experience in an appropriate uh, engineering and land surveying company and to obtain their registration. Now, one of the really exciting messages we can send them is that a licensed professional land surveyor in this country today is a highly paid, uniquely valued person with a truly interesting and dynamic career. And so uh, we reach out to about 2,000 students here. I suspect the Trigstar program across the entire country probably reaches over 100,000 students. We hope that some of the cream of the crop in this unique body of, of, of young people uh, make the decision to become professional land surveyors. What do, uh, what do you encourage surveyors throughout the United States who see a shortage of surveyors? What do you encourage them to do uh, as far as getting involved with Trigstar and taking it to the next level, making the connection? Well, one of, one of the, uh, one of the uh, mogos of, of the land surveyor has always been a foot in the future and a foot in the past. And as a, as a historical person, I probably value that foot in the past as much as anyone. But the professional land surveyor of today has got to recognize he has to support and he has to demand that the land surveyor of the future emerge from a high school with a good education, goes on to a four-year college and gets a degree because the land surveyor of the future has got to be a highly educated, highly qualified professional. There are going to be fewer of them they're going to be on a much more exciting career path than the last 50 years. Uh, we've got to support that. We've got to pay for it. We've got to be willing to fund it. We've got to be willing to mentor it. And we've got to be willing to hire those individuals when they come out of those universities and pay them in a manner that's commensurate with the effort that they've taken to get the education they've got. And, and if we don't step up to that plate, those people aren't going to be there. It's, it's really all in our hands. What do you want surveyors who are listening to you right now, to, to, to uh, some of those who are not involved with Trigstar or not involved with promoting the profession, uh, what do you want them, what would you recommend to them? What would you say to them right now? What do they need to do now? Well, I think one of the most exciting things they could do is get involved in Trigstar because it gives them a chance to project their dynamic, their value, their care for this profession projected to young people. Young people are, are just like a plant waiting for us to water them with the excitement, the knowledge, the love, the passion we have for what we do. We simply need to transmute it. What, uh, what reaction do you get from the teachers here at the high schools that you attend and that you present Trigstar at? What's the reaction of the teachers? Well, Neil, you were in there with me. They love it. They love the fact that we are providing the translation from an example problem in a textbook to a real world application. I really think it's, it's almost uh, educational. They, they really find out somebody actually leaves school, takes these tools, and uses them to do something useful.
and as you know, land surveyors use trigonometry to do virtually everything they do in some fashion or another. You also caught the attention of the students when you talked about good, high-paying careers. Exactly. Uh, here in Maryland, a professional land surveyor can demand a salary that meets or exceeds the salaries of professional engineers, licensed architects, and landscape architects. Uh, we are an essential part of the fabric of how to get things done in this state, and uh, we are in a very uh, a position of real demand and control because, frankly, there are only about 600 of us. There are over 40,000 engineers. Uh, the land surveyor today, a licensed land surveyor in this state, that can really do it, that understands how to use the hardware, the software, how to communicate with a client who has good writing skills, is worth his weight in gold. That's why the education is so important. It's got to be a person with a well-rounded background that can express himself in a form that lay people can understand, other professionals can understand. He's got to be able to write, and then he's got to be able to work with the software. He's got to be able to, to make it uh, get the job done. He's got to be able to extract the project out of the computer and display it in a form that uh, the county government, state government, and, and, and your local uh, contractor can understand. It's, it's exciting, it's challenging, and it's very rewarding. All right, guys, we have uh, the gentleman from Triggs are here to provide you with an overview of what you'll go through today, as well as directions for the test. It is my expectation that our Westlake Wolverines do their absolute <laughs> best on this exam. Give it your all, show your Westlake pride in everything that you do. I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Whitehead. Thank, Thank you. you. you a, this lady has the power. Good morning. My name is Jim Whitehead. I'm the National Trig Star Coordinator for the Maryland Society of Surveyors for the Trig Star Exam in this state. The Trig Star Exam is sponsored by the National Professional Society of Surveyors, and the objective is to introduce young men and women like yourselves to the exciting applications of mathematics and trigonometry in real-world problems, and to begin to familiarize you with the fact that there is a really exciting, highly rewarding opportunity, professional career for you as a land surveyor in, in the future. Uh, land surveyors work all over the United States and all over the world. They handle some of the most complex problems that mankind faces. They work with some of the most high-tech software and hardware on the planet. So we have a profession that has all of the tools that I think any dynamic young man or woman would want to work with for the rest of their lives. And then to, to make it better than sliced bread, it's a very well paid profession. So you can do exciting things, work outside a little bit, work inside a little bit, work with really exciting tools, and make a very good living. Uh, you'll be following in the footsteps of some of the greatest men in the history of our country, land surveyors like George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, Abraham Lincoln. We have one of the richest histories of any profession, literally, in the world. The National Trick Star exam you're about to take is a four-problem exam. Uh, I'm expecting you guys to do great because I have uh, four of my children graduated from this high school and so I have a special spot for this school in my heart. I would like to see Southern Maryland win a national championship and I'd like to see Westlake be the school that does it. So you've got to do it. There will be a $50 prize for the high school champion. There will be a $150 prize for the county champion. There will be a $250 prize for the state champion. The state champion will go on to compete in a national championship. Now, no pressure, but the national champion wins a $2,000 prize in addition to the other prizes I mentioned. And the trig teacher that sponsored that student wins a $1,000 prize. 
Now, Merlin's been involved in the... start you all on, on the sign of a, of, a, of a go, and you have one hour exactly. Now this test is based on best score, best time. So don't mess around. If you get to the fourth problem, for instance, and you don't know how to work it, you put yourself in a better competitive position to finish what you know you can do and turn your test in. Because you may have the highest score, even though you didn't work the last problem. Uh, and I hope some of them will work all the problems. Uh, you cannot use a pre-programmed calculator, and I know that all of you are using calculators that are handed out by the school, so that's not a problem. Uh, you can't use a friend. Now, one mistake that I see consistently that I don't want you to make, the exam clearly says you enter distance answers to two decimal places. So if the distance answer was 10, you would write 10.00. If the distance answer was 10.051 on your calculator, you would write 10.05. You would round up, like 10.056 would be 10.06. Do not report distances to three decimal places. Do not report distances to one. Report them to two. Annular measurement is in degrees, minutes, and seconds. When you report the angular measure, report it clearly to degrees, minutes, and seconds. 10 degrees is 10 degrees, 00, zero minutes, 00, zero seconds. An angular measure of 10 degrees, 1 minute, 1 second is 10 degrees, 01 minutes, 01 seconds. No decimal. So, um, do we have this? Does everybody have a test? Does anyone not have a test? Everybody's good? Everybody's ready? <laughs> 